We've been talking a lot about the volatility in the markets, and clearly the private markets key off key off the public markets. And so I'm curious both what you're seeing in your own portfolio companies in terms of how, how you're looking at the economy, but also how you're looking at valuations right now. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me this morning. You know, there's no doubt that the, the macroeconomic conditions and coronavirus are creating an environment of cautious optimism within investors and, and certainly, you know, similarly within our portfolio. You know, first of all, you know, this is an environment where cash is king and extending and making sure that you have at least one year's worth of cash runway is sort of a fundamental that most investors are uh, focusing on within their portfolio. And that's definitely been true for us. Um, and look, we are beginning to see some, you know, downward pressures on multiples. Um, for some investors, you know, I think, you know, many are seeing this as an opportunity or a uh, an environment where you have a reversion back to some normal um, because we've been in an environment that had been frothy with multiples, you know, being based off sometimes future revenue versus current revenue milestones. Um, and so we're beginning to see that certainly in the early stages where Storm invests, where, you know, we're seeing multiples coming down from 10x revenue down to eight and sometimes even six. And I think for those, uh, those, in those companies that are active in the tech or leisure uh, verticals. I mean, they're seeing you know an even harder time right now in this environment. So, do you imagine over the next several several quarters you're going to be investing in companies that are either challenged? I mean, historically, the venture business has not been about turnarounds, so to speak. But I wonder whether this becomes that space. Right. No, it's a, it's a great point. Look, I, I see this current environment as an opportunity for for founders and companies to really double down and focus on engineering and product and find stronger product market fits. So this is an opportunity for those companies that are already doing well or have been, you know, ha have some sort of lead already in the market to continue to build on that lead. Um, for those companies that are seeing a lot of challenges right now, you know, in a turnaround environment, look, I think they're going to continue to find a, a lot of challenges in fundraising in the current environment, unfortunately. Um, I know you've invested in a lot of SaaS companies over, over time. When you look just at the business, at, at the fundamentals of your portfolio right now, and I know you were talking about, you know, wanting portfolio companies to need cash for the next year, but do you, do you look at the, the current business and think that this is challenged? It's not challenged? What, what are you seeing? Yeah. Look, we're definitely seeing challenges, right? You know, we're seeing declines in sort of net new revenues coming into those businesses. And so that's creating a whole sort of waterfall effect in terms of how we think of the fundamental underlying unit economics of those businesses. And so we're in this period where we're trying to ensure that, you know, those businesses become more efficient fundamentally, that every dollar being utilized and burned is driving hopefully more positive net new revenues into that business. And so, you know, all of the fundamental assumptions that went into the business plans that we invested in six or 12 months ago have all been sort of re-looked at and, and all those assumptions re redone in this current environment. You know, the reality is, you know, we're going to continue, I think, to see, you know, top line revenues uh, struggle throughout this quarter and next quarter. But it's not all doom and gloom. You know, one of the things we are noticing within our portfolio itself is that uh, show rates to demos, that top of the funnel metrics are starting to look more positive in Q2 as opposed to where they were looking in February and March of this year. And so that's creating a little bit of optimism that business is still open. Um, and certainly if you're selling into tech right now, I think. You know, we're, we're still seeing good opportunities to, to provide value in, in organizations. Right.